So here at Northwick, we're the, the grassland and sustainable livestock side of Rothsford Research. The farm platform project specifically has been here for about 10 years now. We started in around 2011. The main aim really is to gather as much uh, information and data as we can on contrasting grass and farming systems. How we can farm sustainably, how we can produce nutrients um, for human consumption against the backdrop of climate change um, and against the backdrop of an increasing world population awful lot of equipment around the place monitoring everything that goes into the farm in terms of inputs, fertilisers, chemicals, all the data associated with the livestock on the farm, but also perhaps the, the bit that isn't routinely monitored on farms, uh, the environmental side of things. So we have a huge amount of instrumentation monitoring water quality, uh, greenhouse gas emissions, so nutrients leaving the farm into the atmosphere, um, and nutrients also leaving the farm in terms of the products that leave the farm, so whether that be meat products uh, or, or grain for, for human consumption. So once that data is gathered, it's, it's all available to the research community and we have a, we have a lot of researchers here working on, working on all the areas we've talked about. So atmospheric chemists looking at the greenhouse gas stories, we've got livestock scientists, we've got soil scientists looking at, uh, looking at the carbon story, we've got ecologists looking at species diversity in our, in our grasslands and, and around the farm and a lot of just data scientists who are pulling apart that data and really looking for the interesting stories and then feeding back to us on the ground what we can, where we can change and which direction we should be heading. The uniqueness about the farm platform is that we are able to, through instrumentation, trace all the movement of the nutrients across the farm and therefore we can pinpoint where we are utilising nutrient well for the production of crops and also the production of the um, um, animal and also where we are losing much of the nutrient unnecessarily. So the um, environmental um, impacts of the livestock farming is obviously um, very clear. We have to minimise the uh, pollution from ruminant production systems where we know that uh, uh, the uh, large amount of methane and also nitrous oxide are uh, emitted. So um, we have got the uh, two pillars of the research programs here, if you like. One is to reduce the um, um, emissions from livestock farming and how can we achieve that? The uh, second part of our research program is to see in the world where we don't eat as much um, um, livestock and product as um, we do now, and what can we do in this um, landscape? We might be able to combat land and to have higher uh, nutrient use efficiency, um, possibly using uh, mixed farming or uh, specialist and arable system. So we are trying to identify where these should happen and also how we should run the uh, new farming systems at different locations across the UK. Well, on the surface here, we've got a lovely layer of moss and blue-green algae. My work's focusing on soil as a living system and the role that microbes and organic carbon play in nutrient turnover and nutrient use efficiency for agriculture. So I've been working extensively on some of the long-term experiments at Harpenden and we've used them to effectively create a new theory of how we think soil works. And from that we've just started to extend those experiments to now look down here in Devon at the consequences of taking long-term pasture into arable production to potentially replace uh, livestock agriculture in, in the southwest. So we are here measuring uh, emission of greenhouse gases and as you can see behind we have an edicovariance tower which uh, has attached to it a couple of instruments. One to measure CO2 and one to measure methane emissions from this paddock. We can measure not only the emissions from soil but also we can capture the emissions from the animals as the animals are grazing in the field. Assessing the greenhouse gas emissions from these different pastures will uh, give us information on what is the best pasture for productive systems. Not only in terms of productivity in the case of uh, cattle and, and sheep but also in decreasing uh, nutrient losses to the environment all this data on the different pastures could potentially be used to improve inventory of greenhouse gases, data that doesn't exist at the moment, to have a more accurate inventory for, for the region and for the country. So the fact we're a long-term monitoring experiment, we're, we aim to be here over the long term, gathering data for, for many years, 
Um, plus the fact we're looking at systems in their totality rather than focusing on a small, small element as you might do in a, in a classical field experiment. Um, that really allows us to look at, look at things holistically and look at some of the trade-offs. So we're not going to save the world um, here on our own, but um, we feed into that debate, feed a huge amount of information into that debate and link up with other researchers around the world and we're a key part of the jigsaw to really try and yeah, drive sustainable agriculture into the future.